ready for duty. For a map, press huh. select or R3. Okay. Uh, here's your map. Uh, not much to it. You'll never need to use this map ever unless you're going for 100% all bolts and stuff. Which this will not be, by the way. Uh, this is just going to be a straight playthrough. Uh, I'll probably try and do all the missions in the game. I'm not going for all of the uh, secrets, though. I'll, I'll get a couple of them, because some of them are really useful. And there's one actually on this planet that I really ne need to get later. Uh, what is this planet? Planet Uzla, I think it was called? Uh, yeah. Oh, one thing you'll notice is that we actually don't have Clank right now. Uh, don't worry. We'll get him eventually. Ooh, here we go. Vendors. Uh, just like Ratchet 1, you can buy weapons. Uh... Unfortunately, this is the biggest crux of this game, is that uh, there are a ton of weapons in this game, so much to the point where this vendor becomes really cluttered and really, really bad. That's a downside of this game, is that too much weapons and they didn't fix the vendors. There's going to be so much crap in this vendor, and you have to sort through it and buy ammo for each weapon. They fix that with literally the push of a button in Ratchet 3, which you'll see eventually when I get to there. Uh, for, so what do they have for sale? A chopper and a blitz gun. Um, you know, both of those are pretty good. Both of those are pretty good, actually, but I don't have any, uh, enough money right now, so. Uh, which way to go? Let's just go to the way the vendor shows us. We're gonna have to explore both paths anyway. Throw your wrench, hold R1, and press square. Yep. Uh, just like uh, Ratchet 1. Uh, the wrench gets more and more useless as as the series progresses, though, because your weapons just become so goddamn powerful. Uh, where I, I'd, I'd say the wrench is very useful in Ratchet 1. It's not as useful in here. They try and remedy that with uh, wrench upgrades. You can get uh, mandatory ones that you just get through the plot. But, uh, it doesn't really help. It really doesn't. <laughs> really good soundtrack. Uh, what the? Oh, I think I just missed a little, uh, egg. Oop, oop. <laughs> I, uh, trying to get used to the camera controls. I, I think it's on inverted right now. Some games I prefer inverted, some games I don't. Inver oh! There's the guy. Let's save him. Your maximum nanotech has increased. Defeat more enemies to increase it further. Well, the guy just got dragged into the ground. That's gotta suck. Uh, as you saw there, I leveled up in my. Uh, I have more health now. Also, sometimes I'm uh, not sure what. I think it's like every time you start a new health bar, every time you complete one. I'm not exactly sure. Or maybe it's every time. I don't know, but. Um, it basically does a screen wipe, where every enemy on the screen dies, and it's very helpful. Uh, it doesn't work on bosses, I believe. Uh, oh well. Stuff like that usually never does. And I'll get to that later, uh, with a certain weapon that I despise. To interrupt yes, <laughs> I'm doing that game. <laughs> Every time I get the opportunity. Did I just miss? Uh, yes, I did. Oh, I can't wait till I get a, a an item later that helps box collecting. Uh, makes it way easier. <laughs> strafing. They can't hit me. Yeah, strafing. In a, it really helps, but in a way, it also breaks the game because, like. If you're if you're good, enemies won't really be able to hit you until very later when like the game becomes ridiculously hard. Uh, like all Ratchet games, difficulty spike at the end is pretty huge. Boss time, uh, uh, squish time. Uh, this is just a really easy. Oh yeah, and uh, as strafing, you can uh, you can do flips and stuff, and that doesn't help me in that situation. Just, uh, this is a really easy boss. You shouldn't have any trouble. And there we go. 
Okay, easy boss. Let's just... Oh, no. Oh, yeah. Uh, on this planet, there's sludge on the ground. Uh, just like Ratchet 1, I believe. Uh, oh, uh, better get these bolts before they disappear. Uh, there's sludge, and if you jump into the sludge, you have, like, two jumps uh, before uh, you sink into the ground and just die Im immediately, so beware. Uh, there's lots of checkpoints in this game, way more than uh, Ratchet 2, so that's helpful. And now we get our first gadget. The Dynamo. The Dynamo activates machinery. Press circle to use the Dynamo to zap that activator. Will do. Boop. And that's what the Dynamo does. It, uh, you see these cool little, uh, I'm gonna call them doohickeys. Uh, you call the, you see these cool little doohickeys and you can, uh, activate them and, uh, do a thingy. <laughs> I can't talk today. Uh, and it shows up in a quick select and, uh, I'll organize the quick select once I have enough weapons to justify organizing. This music's so happy. I think I should have gone the other way, actually, uh, at the start of the planet. Because this leads to the, uh, the infobot, I guess, for the next the next world. Are infobots in this game? I don't remember. I'm I'm pretty sure no, but maybe they are. And yeah, they even have a uh, these the doohickeys will even give you moving platforms. I'm just gonna wait now because I screwed it up. There we go. There we go. Bum, bum, bum. Oh. So happy. Except this place has been completely overrun by plants and monsters, so that's gotta suck for them. Uh, how do I get back up? How do I get back up? Oh. Convenient staircase! It's so happy, I love it. To center the camera, tap L1. Thank you. Oh, no. <laughs> no, we're not going to serve you, because we can. Uh, let's go and... It's an easy tutorial level. I I love the uh, the contrast between like yeah, the factory and then oh we're on a sewer planet. Oh, that's another thing I have to bring up. This is a sewer planet and I don't hate it. it must be a a cold day in hell. Forming pop 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 double jump yeah. Please announce a three percent employee discount on all Megacorp merchandise. Ooh, up here! I... Hey, look, cock. Sure is a cock. Goodbye, cock. Up here is a really wait. Is it up here? I forget completely. I believe this leads to one of the most useful items in the game, but. We need, uh, an item from Ratchet 1, actually, to get up there. Sort of from Ratchet 1. You'll see later. Thank you for choosing Megacorp for our customers. What's the point of this room? This is like an assembly line or something? Oh, well, that's it for the level. Come in. Are you there? Copy, Mr. Fizzwidget. Listen, that is some widescreen. <laughs> The thief was indemnified at Megacorp's Maktar Resort. Also, the thugs have towed a moon-sized jamming array into Maktar Resort orbit. Should I take That's it no out? moon. Perilous. It's disconfrapulating our annual Galactic Gladiators broadcast. See for yourself. Ask yourself, are you man enough, hero enough, insane enough to step into the ring with two of the fiercest warriors in the galaxy? If you answered yes, you're a big, fat liar. <laughs> but that's okay, because Megacorp is bringing galactic gladiators into your home for a special Mega View event. 
First, it's survival of the fittest in our bio competition. Be there as Chainblade. Chainblade unleashes his fury on our gladiator guest contestants. Chainblade has gone undefeated in 500 straight matches. But if the bio division doesn't do it for you, our robotics division will. <laughs> Taste the adrenaline as contestants face off against our four-armed bandit, the B2 Brawler. 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 <laughs> no living creature is a match for this machine. Watch six tons of carbon oxide alloy hunt for its prey. There's no consolation prize, cause this bad boy's programmed to show no mercy. So, what are you waiting for? Call now to bring Chainblade and the B2 Brawler into your living room, <laughs> but put away the fine china. <laughs> the Galactic Gladiators, only on Mega View. Call your provider now. This Sunday, Sunday, someday. Chainblade, huh? I've got the coordinates. Ratchet out. Mactar Resort, Mactar Nebula. That's redundant. Hey. Okay, so uh, I really should have gone the other way because now we have coordinates to the next planet. Teleporter. Thank you. Okay. To view missions still available. Eh. I'm wondering, should I get a new weapon? You know, I'm gonna save my money actually. Uh, there are a lot of weapons in this game. I just like Ratchet One that I won't be buying because I hate them. But, uh, I forget which weapons I really like and which ones I really hate. Also, this Lancer is really close to being upgraded. In fact, it will be upgraded before the end of this planet. Because now we have to go down here and, uh, get to the end of this path to get a, uh, another gadget that we'll, we'll have to use uh, on the next planet, I believe. Oh hey, it's the uh I didn't know Nintendo was involved with this. They got the little uh the dinosaurs from uh Mario 64. The Lapras in the water. Or whatever it was. Oh, there's a bolt! Gotta get it! Gotta get it! Yeah! Five bolts! Those five bolts are gonna save my ass one day, you'll see. Oh, I have fond memories of this game when I, I first got it when I was a wee little lad. Those were the days. I'm very close to upgrading my health again as well. Oh, look at this. It's gonna upgrade. And... Oh, come on. You're so close. There we go. A heavy lancer. New weapon upgraded. New weapons can be upgraded with frequent use. Yay! <laughs> uh, yeah, now it fires like at twice the rate, more ammo, and also to let you know it's heavy, it's uh now have it has an orange uh an orange uh picture. Uh so I guess we'll use the gravity bomb right now for uh I'll try and upgrade as much weapons as possible. I'm not going for a hundred percent all weapons run. So uh don't get your hopes up. Nice scenery. Of a sewer. Uh, are you gonna go over there? Nope. Oh yes, you were. No. Come back, Lapras. 